Team of the season is now here. If you want to make millions of coins, if you want to be able to grind out all the free packs and you want to join a community of like-minded FIFA players, the best community out there, then join foottrading.co.uk. We will help you make millions of coins. We will show you all the methods we're doing to craft free packs throughout the whole of TOTS. We've already got people that have crafted hundreds of packs without spending a single coin on the game. It is so, so easy to do, and everyone that subscribes now will get a bonus when it comes around to the brand new game. We'll be able to help you guys straight away, and you'll get money off your subscription for that. Check out Foot Trading. We guarantee you'll make millions, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Click the like button, it makes a massive, massive difference to the channel. And if you can comment on the video, it literally takes you 10 seconds to do. I will comment back to you, even though I'm on holiday right now. I will come back to you guys as much as I possibly can. Um, I try and do that to all of you guys. It just makes a massive difference to the videos. The more interaction they get, the more they get pushed. So thank you to everyone that is doing that. It means the world to me, it really does. Uh, check out for trading, unbelievable place if you guys want to make millions. If you join now, you've got the chance to join our beta for all the new features we're going to be trialing between now and the start of EA Sports FC. But you may be wondering why I have got FIFA 22 Team of the Season Zhao Cancelo on my screen. Um, Tots has been a decent promo, don't get me wrong, good promo. But it is slowly but surely starting to come to the end of it now. Now last year we saw shapeshifters, I believe it was, after Tots. Um, so there's going to be some promos, and I think EA have done a really good job this year of keeping the power curve low enough that the new promo will still bring out some decent players that you might want in your team. I think they've done a really good job of that. The problem you have now is you have to be very, very careful with what you have in your club, okay? At this point in the year, it's when we tend to see the market drop off because the inter sort of interaction with the game is lesser from certain people. The game, I don't want to call it dies off. It doesn't die off. Everyone's still playing it and whatnot. The only real death of this game comes just before the start of the new one when everyone's like, right, there's no point in playing this one because the new one's coming out. Let me have a break. But the market does start to wind down and cards start to get hammered. And so I want to just show you the sort of interaction between the market at certain points last year. Now, Tots fell pretty much the same time last year as it has done this year. Very little difference in them. If we take a look at Cancelo, for example... Obviously, very expensive player to start with, and he was on a downward spiral bit by bit by bit. And by the 9th of June, he absolutely plummeted, okay? They dropped off heavily by the Friday, the Saturday. He came down very, very quickly. Another card we'll look at is Kevin De Bruyne. Um, again, up at 800, there we go. By 9th of June, bang, plummets. Absolutely falls off a cliff, becomes worth very, very little compared to where he is. David Alaba, even at the lower end, these cards were doing it, if you see... Again, up to here, about 147k, and then bang, drops and plummets off again. Um, you have to bear that in mind. Now, why is that? First reason, the game isn't as appealing to everybody. Tots to a lot of people, not everyone, but to a lot of people, is the pinnacle of the game cycle. That's when they're like, right, the game's sort of done for me this year. There's not much like, more I can do to improve my team. So the, the want to play the game is there less. The hardcore, maybe half the players and whatnot, for them, they'll just keep playing the game. So it won't matter. There will still be some form of demand. You then have cards that come out onto the game that become better than these cards. So Shapeshifters comes out, you get quite a, a lot of very good SBCs. So a lot of these players get replaced by other players that come out in SBCs. Um, so you have to bear that in mind. Really, there just isn't quite the amount of players there that are like, right, I think this card's worth it and I'm going to go ahead and buy this card anymore. Most people have their teams built by the time that Tops is over. You've also got the big sort of SBCs that come out towards the end of the year, the 85 times 10s and stuff like that where packing these cards becomes the norm. By the end of the game, everyone's got the same team anyway, because they've packed absolutely everyone. I mean, last year, my team by the end was unbelievable because I packed everyone you could possibly pack. So you have to bear that in mind. What worries me a bit more this year, though, is the way that the market has reacted. What has happened this year is you've got a massive lower tier of good cards, sort of okay cards, strong cards for teams, but nothing incredible. Whereas the higher tier this year is higher tier. So if you look at the Bruyne last year, for example, his price was sort of 850, then sort of after, not long after Tots dropped down to 754 there, for example. This year, the Bruyne is sat at 1.29 million. That is a huge difference, an absolutely massive, massive difference. So the risk of drop-off this year is even bigger, in my opinion, because a lot of those cards that were expensive last year are even more expensive this year, and I think the drop-off could be even heavier. Um, I don't think they're going to drop... Let's say De Bruyne dropped to 350k. I don't think this De Bruyne's going to drop to 350k. 
but the drop there is sort of a 300k drop whereas here if you got down to 600k the drop would be like you know enough twice the drop it was last year so why am i telling you this i'm telling you this because in my opinion if you aren't playing the game consistently and you don't really care about champs and stuff too much now in my opinion would be the time to sell some of these cards when they're at their highs um and hold on to your coins for a bit longer i wouldn't be doing it too much but even if you are playing champs there are enough very good cards that come out as sbcs there are enough cards that maybe qu aren't quite as good as these cards but still very good in your team that you could use that are far cheaper i would just be a little bit careful that you don't get stung because the best part of the game for me and for a lot of people is once tots is done and you hit shapeshifters and ea just go f it have loads of amazing sbcs go and grind all the players you want go and grind all the packs you want you want to have coins to do that you don't want to be in a situation where let's say you've gone and spent three and a half million coins on your team and then in a week and a half time it's worth 1.5 million and you've lost two million coins because it's sort of short-term pain for long-term gain if that makes sense I, I do think you've got to think we, we're only just in june the talk is that ea sports fc is going to come in september so you've got june july and august to still really enjoy this game if you get killed now with your coins it's going to be a very very difficult road back the reason why that is as well is because the market itself doesn't have the demand on it for trading to be incredible now on the website we find ways to make sure you can trade and that doesn't make a difference but if you're a standard generic trader that maybe trades in cars that are just about to go out of packs or those sort of random little i guess flips of maybe let's say as a team of season that's 45k and you go and snipe them up at 40k each sell them on for a bit of profit great way to make coins suddenly that becomes less available to you and everything drops in value and it becomes very very hard to make coins unless you've got people pointing you in the right direction so then suddenly when you've lost all your coins it's very difficult to get those coins back again very very hard to get those coins back again so it's something that i would bear in mind i look at cards i look at league one tops for example and i have a little look at what these cards are new new is at 397k i can almost guarantee you that in a couple of weeks time this card will be half that value could almost guarantee it look at lacazette 1.9 million unbelievable card this by the way unbelievable card he won't be 1.9 million in a couple of weeks though nowhere near that yet again marquinhos 505k it wouldn't surprise me if this card got down as low as 250 300k once all once all is said and done there's just a lot of cards that i think like medina here great card but again i, I do think you've got risk in him a lot of cards here that have great value that are very very expensive that won't hit the heights even the big cards aren't exempt from it they're not exempt from it they will dip off in value i don't think it necessarily matters if you've got 10 million coins to spend on mbappe i don't think it really matters if he drops off in value because you've probably got enough coins but that doesn't matter but even then i'd still be a bit like well i can go and have all the fun i want last year towards the end of the game i packed that Genoa card i packed messi i packed ronaldo packed all these amazing cards just because i had the coins on the game i've got nearly four million coins out of my account right now and i'm just chilling on it because i know the fun for me will come once all the big SBCs come out, the 85 times 10s or the 85 times 5s, all those SBCs come out, I'm going to have the coins to engage with that rather than rinsing my club during tots, losing loads of coins at the end of tots, getting absolutely hammered on my coin total, and then being like, right, well, the game's sort of over for me here. Because you can go one or two ways. You can get all the best players in the game by packing them, or you can lose all your coins and not be able to build the team right to where you want it. And actually, you end up selling more and more stuff in your club just to be able to engage with the game alternatively you do what eBay, ea ebay ea want you to do which is to spend money on fifa points because then you're like okay i can enjoy this game again now and i, I really think at this point in the game spending money on fifa points is just a bit bizarre because it's just coming towards the end you're not going to see the, be the benefit of them that you would have seen if you'd have put them on in september for example or december i would just think very very carefully about that would i go and rush to sell everything now no i wouldn't but if I look at someone like a De Bruyne, for example, um, and I look at him from last year, the drop here is so significant that those sort of cards that are good, like good cards, without being incredible, like talking Mbappe level, they're the cards that I worry for the most because I think they're the ones that will tend to have an SPC or a shapeshift or something that will come out that will just blow them out of the water very, very quickly. So they're the sort of cards I'd be thinking about. It doesn't mean go and sell your whole team now and panic. It's just keep an eye on the market. But it only takes... A little bit of panic on the game this year we've seen it so many times for these cards to dip very very quickly in value we've only we've seen it so many times this year where out of nowhere a card's gone from 400k to 210k or whatever it is they've dipped off massively and they bounce back a little bit 
but people have been stung by that because maybe a leak has come out from Sheriff or something like that to say, this card is coming, that card is coming. Do I think you have to panic right now? No, not necessarily. But Serie A Tots is basically here now and we're not, we're not far from it. I'm not sure when this video will go live, but it will be in around that time. To me, I'll just be very, very careful at that moment there because it's going gonna, it's gonna to sting you if you're not careful and you're not aware of what's going on in the market. But that's how to avoid that. That's what I would be doing if I were you guys. Long-term gain for short-term pain. That's the best way I can describe it. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.